right. Oh, I need my beer. There we go. That's better. Welcome back, everybody. Well, today I'm making a pizza casserole, and I have a special shirt for that today. It's Pizza Mus, and for those of you who follow Vlogbrothers, you know exactly what that means. If you don't, never mind. It's a long story. So Nikki and I raised six kids, three of hers and three of mine, and casseroles were really one of the only things that kept us from going bankrupt. They were all very hungry children and they ate a lot. So we made a lot of casseroles and one of their favorites was the pizza casserole. I found this one online and as you can see, I've made a lot of my own edits. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. And if you want the recipe, it's down in the doobly doo. All right, oven, bake at 350. All right, let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got some pork sausage. We got some mozzarella cheese, rotini pasta. We've got pizza sauce, some petite diced tomatoes, and of course, a little alcoholic beverage because I like to drink when I cook. Now, over here I got what we call our optional ingredients, and you can add really anything you want, but I'm gonna do this supreme style. So we've got some mini pepperonis, a green pepper, onion and some washed mushrooms so you can add whatever you want you can do just pepperoni you can add some ground beef whatever you like to have on your pizza what about anchovies anchovies really yeah get out of my house all right let's cook the sausage Now this recipe you can make the day before and put it in the fridge and then have it ready to put it in the oven the next day or you can just bake it right away like we're going to. Onion time. Now the green pepper. Multitasking. That went quick. More where that came from. Now if you got some grease in your sausage there. Is that how you say sausage? If you got some grease in your sausage there, you can drain that out. And at this point, I'm just gonna put this all into a casserole dish. Is this 13 by nine? I can't tell. I'm gonna say yes. All right, so we're gonna take our sauce. Oh my goodness. Put that in there. Got some mini pepperonis here. Now these things have one of those little moisture absorbers or whatever. It says do not eat on them. So don't eat them. Peppers, onions. You know what? This is not big enough. This one's 15 by 10. That should do it. Uh. Of course, you could cut all this in half if you don't have to, you know, feed an army. Mushrooms, pizza sauce, dump all that in there. And one more ingredient I forgot. I'm always forgetting something. Pizza seasoning. Now, Tones makes some pizza seasoning that's pretty good, but this, of course, is Benzies. There you go. Mix that up all real good. That was wonderful grammar, wasn't it? And we also need three and a half cups of water and a half teaspoon of salt. Mix that all up together. Make sure that all the rotini is covered with the sauce. Just kind of pat it down a little bit like that. All right, we're gonna cover this up with foil. We're gonna put it in the oven. Holy crap, this is heavy. We're gonna put it in the oven for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. All right, we are done. Let's get this out of here. There. Take this off. Oh, that smells good. We're gonna give this a stir and we're gonna add half of the cheese. We're just going to stir that right in. We're going to put on the rest of the cheese. And we're going to take a little bit more of our Penzi's pizza seasoning and just sprinkle that right on top there. We're going to put that in for another five minutes just to melt the cheese. 
Use two hands this time. There we go. All right, so there we have it. Pete's casserole. In all seriousness, Pizza Must is an annual fundraiser that uh, raises money for a lot of great charities. So see the link in the description below. Buy a silly shirt and uh, help a good cause. Anyway, I'll be eating this for the next week. Hope you're all taking care of yourself, staying healthy and happy. Cheers, until next time.